Welcome to Non-Related. My name is Artist20, aka Vladivostok, and today we're back in Diablo 3. I know it's been a while since I uh, recorded a video of Diablo. It's because I've been busy with another character. Uh, I've been checking all the videos so I know what the story is about, and so I can get you guys up to date which the story is and uh, what you can expect more. Um, I've seen more good points of the game, more bad, bad, bad points of the games, and uh, well, you will see well, what what I find out. Okay, let's first begin about the story. In the first episode you've seen is, of course, the... I have heard the well, most ridiculous tales creature. about travelers being ambushed by vicious trees. <laughs> it, it is too much. Despite their names, the wood wraiths are not plants, but fully mobile beasts who have taken on the guise of foliage to ensnare their prey. Only a simpleton could be fooled by such a trick. So, that was basically a lore. Uh, some guy, uh, a guy asked me if I wanted to let you guys listen to it, and uh, I got a new one upcoming, but I will do that later since I first want to tell something about the story. The story is basically, I'm a demon hunter, I came from a far, far country where I was kind of trained to, uh, which is also my name, demon hunter, to kill the demons, and that's basically my mission, and that's where I was created for, so basically like a weapon, and uh, killing pe killing demons, basically. Uh, and Trustrum, where I was in the beginning, the beginning area, uh, the town at this place, there was a fallen star, and no one seriously knew what it was, and uh, let's say my character was interested in finding out what it was, or what it could be. So that's the reason I'm here, and trying to kill these demons, and uh, we found out that the star was a stranger, and uh, Dr. Kane, the main guy of this, the, in the beginning story, the old man, uh, he... I'm not sure if we're already there yet, but we found a stranger actually, and he seems to be the one that fall. And uh, before that, we killed the skeleton king, which was kind of a enemy in here. He summoned all the skeleton creatures, and uh, yeah, that's basically what happened so far. And now we're gonna get on in the game. First, I'm gonna check my skills because I'm gonna change a few things. And uh, that one is okay. Can chase this one to rapid fire. Uh, kill drops, and yeah, don't get anything for that. So yeah, I find I found out some good things and bad things. The first good thing I really noticed is well, it's not really a good thing, but you have to find out uh, for yourself. Not really for yourself, never mind. I, f I find it out. And uh, what you basically do is. You can. I, I thought I can't play this game in surround, and we'll pick that book up later. I thought you couldn't get play this game in surround, but uh, once you set up the full screen um, window mode, you will get surrounds. And the only negative thing of that low. is that the Diablo doesn't really support two graphics cards, so it, it only gets one uh, graphic card. I got two 580s Not in this PC, people. but in this game I'm actually using one. So that's really annoying at one point, but yeah, I guess Blizzard didn't really want to uh, make a game for two cards, which is kind of ridiculous, but well, then again. So yeah, I'm gonna pick up the book now, since, um, yeah, listen to the story. There are a whole bunch of uh, books that can be found in the, uh, the whole game, and it's quite awesome, because you still really get a lot of them. So, uh... I've already got some achievements on my main character now, it's not my main character actually. Okay, there we go. Tristram Fields. Is it is about the fields where we're right now, uh, where we are right now. The Tristram Fields are fair lands, fertile and temperate. Superstitious farmers kept away from them for quite a while after the fall of old Tristram. But time has persuaded them to abandon these ridiculous notions and take up the hoe and plow once more. Now they supply crops to both new Tristram and Wortham. So there you go, there's another story about the Tristram field. 
the fields of Tristram. And those are books. You can read them again if you uh, go to the quest and journal. You got your journal and you got your list and then you can listen to all the stories that you got. Most recent and the old worldwide people, posterity or whatever. Okay, this is the instance where I need to go because I need to find a glowing sword, which is actually for the stranger. And that's what we that's what we're doing right now. Okay, got a new lord coming up. Really Not one. enough hatred. A dark coven has formed in Tristram, and I fear that their superstitious violence may damn the whole region. I discovered kill her. That's pretty annoying. Uh, you want to listen to something, but then there's another one popping up, so I'm gonna listen a to it again. A dark coven has formed in Tristram, and I fear that their superstitious violence may damn the whole region. I discovered very little during my eavesdropping, except that the word Magda was repeated several times in their chants. Oh well, now I journey to the safety of my home, where I may put these worries behind me. We must hurry with so he's basically one of these guys that uh, explains a lot of monsters and uh, beasts and humans and whatever. I this is a, a rare one. We're gonna kill that one. Remember that this is uh, normal. You to take what is mine? You are not the owner of this sword. Regardless, I have claimed it. I am Magda, and I lead this coven. Oh no, no! The shard is mine. To hell with you, witch. Very well. Oh. Let the games begin. Uh-oh. Now we're gonna get a lot of guys. Oh no. <laughs> it's not too hard, actually, but... On normal it ain't. I've, uh, I've now started actually playing on uh, Inferno and that makes it a really, <laughs> this is a really different thing. <laughs> nice. It has fallen where only the ancients may tread. She is more devious than she appears. Now we got the glowing sword, which is the first uh, piece, if I'm right, because I need to, f need to find more pieces than one. I'm gonna get these dead villagers. And I grow to level 10. Grow. <laughs> I got to level 10. That means I have a passive skill. A passive skill is basically a thing that increases an ability, a um, weapon, uh, gets you more survivability or whatever. For instance, this one. Whenever you use full smokescreen or backflip when e with ease of fire, you gain 60% movement speed for 2 seconds. So that means... If I use this fault spell, I will get a 60% movement speed for 2 seconds. And a trail to hunt. Every 10 seconds your next bow attack will immobilize your target for 3 seconds. Sorry, can't really pronounce it. So I'm gonna go with this one, because I like this sprint bonus. It makes me move faster, we'll show you. And just moving faster, just for 2 seconds, but slow enough. There have also been uh, some patches out, which they kind of nerfed the Demon Hunter, because they get a spell, uh, it's called, uh, what was it called again, Smokescreen, and they decreased the duration of it since it was too OP and too many people used it, and Blizzard seriously wanted to give people the opportunity to use other skills instead of the one, uh, the ones everyone's using, so that's what they did. Okay, now we're going back to Deckard Kane, which will, he will probably... Uh, Look at it and see what it does. So there we go. We're gonna speak with him. I have the sword piece, but a woman named Magda and her minions tried to wrest it from me. Uncle Deckard, you sound like those dark cultists you told me about. Very good, Leah. You have been paying attention. Stranger, does any of this jar your memory? I have no memory of this coven, but I sense a far darker shadow guiding its hand. So there you go, that's the stranger, and uh, he kind of lost his memory. I have no idea why. <laughs> well, I do, but I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> okay, no, Magda new quest. Magda something curious about the next piece. She believes it fell where only ancients may tread. That makes me think of the drowned temple near the festering woods. I remember you telling me about it, Uncle. Exactly, Leah. The temple was home to the Nephilim. Leah, your knowledge could be invaluable. You must go and help our friend retrieve the sword piece. The Nephilim so, were ancient get, humans oh, with fantastic powers. Legend holds that they waged a terrible battle near the temple, and that their ghosts still war with one another. You might remember the fight where we had to um, help this guy. Oh no, that's not, that's not yet. Never mind. My Here's dearest Heydrick, do not feel despair, my love. You did everything you could. 
our time together meant more than words can say. But in the end, fate is a cruel mis- You and I aren't so different. I have great power within me too. The only difference is, I have no control over mine. That sounds troubling. It's only happened a few times in my life, and only when I was in grave danger. Something rises up from deep within me and, well, I can't really explain it. So, during the whole uh, the whole story, uh, you know, I haven't been talking for a while since there's been a lot of talking from the game itself, because there's seriously a lot, a lot of to learn about uh, the whole story and why you're here, and what is happening, and it's a really, really awesome storyline. Um, it's a short one, though. Uh, it's, it's a really short one. It kind of depends how you move. Uh, for instance, I can explore this whole area over here, which may pop up extra dungeons, which are not normally there. Uh, extra monsters would give, of course, more XP, uh, more quests, I, more um, extra lore, so it's going to be more extra lore for you in there, in houses, you're going to be traders. Um, so, yeah. you got a whole bunch of things to do, and you can just run through it. There's even an achievement where you get to do the first act, because this is act one in under one hour, so that means you need to be really fast and need to be really high level and do a uh, normal normal run through so it's easier to go through and uh, yeah, that's basically it. Okay, I see you have an unequipped slot, so that means I can equip this one, which will give me dexterity, although it's a bit worthless to shoot. <laughs> So that's really awesome. It's it's a short storyline. Like I said, it kind of depends how you move and what you do in the game. But yeah, now we'll just now we'll just kind of run through the storyline. Sorry for that. Just run through the storyline. Let you see what it makes. This is a checkpoint. I may, might not have noticed to tell you, there, told you guys, but help. We'll they're going to kill my soon. friend. <laughs> we'll also get that there are scenes coming through. Uh, is that the? Uh, checkpoints, they're everywhere on the map, and the last time I, were, we're, I was at the mines, which was an extra dungeon in the in the fields over here, the fields of misery, which is over here, and uh, this time I'm not going to walk through that again, because it's just an extra dungeon, it's not really something that has to do with the Sora line, it's just an extra thing you can do, but you don't have to. Okay, now we can get on. Thieves are going to kill my friend if we don't do something. Help me break these bonds and see for yourself. What do they want with your friend? She's just a farmer's daughter, Sasha, but she has a relic that the thieves are after. And another awesome thing you can zoom in on your character. Where is the Doesn't relic? do that amazing. Quite disappointing, actually. He needs a relic or something. Uh, it's, it's quite disappointing, in my opinion. It looks pretty cool from this distance. Uh, for instance, the water on the right side, which you can see the house. Uh, there are some disappointments. Of course, some of the uh, images are static, so that means they just can be drawn and it can be look amazing, but it don't move. So that's yeah, a bit annoying. Uh, so does it look that great? I know I've been saying a lot that it's a great game. It looks really great, but once you zoom in, you can see the uh, minus details and yeah. Bit disappointing. Okay, Release let's go on. the girl. The relic belongs to her. You actually believe what this scoundrel tells you? Fine, you fools. We'll kill the both of you. Uh oh, no, he's gonna kill me. Well, at least he's gonna try to, but uh, I think we'll get him down. Oh, more coming. Yeah, shoot these guys down. And there we got a rare one. That's a yellow thing on his feet. You won't get away from his purple time. name. Means he's epic or rare. Or he's eventually stronger than Overt. It takes me a while to get him down. So he goes fast enough though, but there you go. <laughs> this isn't over. The rest of the oh, thieves gonna die. will find you. But a boom. And he's dead. Okay, let's see. We got a new wrist. Uh, I'm gonna get this one. Get me more. Here's the relic, house. my love. I hid it like you asked. Father's grown suspicious of us. But that won't matter once we're married. It won't be long, right? Of course, my dear. 
Soon we will settle down to a quiet life of tilling the fields and raising brat uh, children. But first, I have to sell this relic. Alas, I must travel away with my friend here to do so. You wish to join me? Yes, yes! You look like you know a lot about markets. Now, lead the way! It seems I need to lead the way, but there's no way yet. Wait. Oh, what relic is a fake! Gods, I should have known! You seem like you could use a helping hand, and I sure as hell don't want to stay around here. Please tell me that you're not considering this criminal's proposal. Ah, there you are. But you made a promise to your betrothed. Betrothed? <laughs> Do I look like the marrying kind to you? By the way, my name is Lyndon. That means I get the choice to replace the scoundrel, which is actually some sort of hunter, demon hunter um, class for the Templar. But I prefer to keep the Templar since he's more like a uh, guy that takes all the mobs away from me. So I'm going to click no. I will be able to pick him up back in the town, uh, which is quite awesome. But yeah, you have to go back to town. But the town say of Alaric and this temple is not encouraging. A oh, lots, a lots of stories. <laughs> Must be Alaric the Guardian. Uncle Deckard told me of your eternal watch over this cursed place. I thought it was a myth. Are you Nephilim? No. There have been no Nephilim for a millennium. <laughs> Yet another myth. You seek entrance to this temple, but only a Nephilim can enter. If you retrieve the keys from the outlying tombs and use them on the gates, we will see who. And what you truly are. Follow me. I will raise the bridge that you may pass. I'm gonna follow him. Let's see what he gets in mind for us. Seek two tombs in the woods beyond. The warriors rest and the crypt of the ancients. Within them reside the keys to our sacred temple. Ooh, exciting. So, we're gonna get here in the festering woods. And we're gonna quit here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video in the first place. I'll just keep on moving for a bit so you have an idea what's coming next. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed a bit. And um, sorry for not uploading for a long, long time again. And we'll be uploading more nowadays since uh, yeah, I know a bit more about the game. I can give you more feedback about the game, and that makes it. Uh, Makes me feel really comfortable and uh, yeah, don't really worry about Are those anything. People? No, they have been twisted. And we got a new lore, and we're gonna to listen to this one, and then I'm gonna say goodbye. Ghouls are stronger than most risen dead, but they gain their fortitude through horrific means, feasting upon human corpses. These creatures are least dangerous while eating. But do not disturb them, or it shall be your limbs between their teeth. Well, that's it, guys. We had our last uh, journal story from Deckard Kane so far. Uh, the next time we will get the Broken Blade, so that means we can get the beacons when you retrieve them. And that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye bye. <laughs>